most specifically in Washington, D.C. Things went dark in Washington for a couple of nights, but on Sunday night, June 1st, it was arguably the worst by far. Now, we've had a lot of uh, symbolism in these posts, uh, you know, it's always darkest before the dawn. It has to get dark before it gets light. Blackout being necessary, I believe this is pointing to the fact that these events this country has faced, the actions taken by people looking to overthrow President Trump were necessary to occur because unless these people actually go through with their plans, unless they actually commit these crimes, then we're not going to be able to go after them and arrest them. Now, we've also had some information from our favorite Anon pointing to this very fact. So let's go take a look at some posts from this last couple of days. Now, here we have a post 4389 from yesterday. Again, dark to light, blackout necessary, talking about the fact that today is the two-year Delta. We also have this dark image of the White House that was posted by Hillary Clinton. Let's take a look at her tweet itself. Now, she posted this on June 1st, the morning after we had the uh, craziness taking place in Washington, D.C. on Sunday night. Now, the photo itself is not from the actual date of uh, the incidents that took place. Uh, and I guess she got a fair amount of criticism uh, because people assumed that it was an actual image of the White House at that time. But either way, what she's showing is the White House going dark. And this symbolizes the events that were taking place. Hillary Clinton wants to remove President Trump from the office, and she is willing to allow it to happen through organized insurrection. Now, here in a tweet from Deanna Lorraine, uh, we have the Twitter profile pictures of both Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton. Now, they changed their photos at roughly the same time, just days before everything popped off across the country, to show them with these black face masks on. Now, Hillary's does say vote, but they're both black. These are not standard face masks that you're going to see people wearing like in a, in a healthcare setting. Uh, these are the same types of masks that people who are engaged in the organized insurrection are going to be wearing. The black block, and you guys know who I'm talking about. Now, this right here was a symbol to the people who were willing to rise up against the president and who have been waiting for the go to go ahead and get to work. They knew that as soon as Hillary and Joe did this on Twitter, the time was right. Okay, they could have done it immediately after what happened to that poor man in Minnesota, but instead they waited for the go code. Now in post 4391, we receive this Twitter thread from Q Army Stormtrooper, and it says the last several days of that group's attacks against the White House and other targets in Washington, D.C., and this photo of military police standing on the steps of the Lincoln Memorial remind me of something very important, a news article from July 2019. Now, we covered this here on the channel, and I think you guys are going to remember it. Now, this Bloomberg article, dated 7-22-19, mentioned the discovery of an ongoing top-secret military mission around Washington, D.C. And the title was, Army Let's Slip That It's Conducting Secret Operation Around D.C. The article referenced a tweet by Alan Wayne. In the tweet, Wayne makes reference to the U.S. Army's mysterious mission, and then makes a very suspicious statement certain people might be interested and he doesn't just say certain people he puts asterisks around it so whoever these certain people are know that he's speaking directly to them was wayne trying to tip off this group and planners of the current insurrection and then on 7 22 19 the same day the bloomberg article was post our favorite anon dropped a screenshot of another of alan wayne's tweets referencing the bloomberg article about the ongoing secret military mission around dc